So a couple of weeks ago, I was asked to work on a game prototype that was initially made for a game jam. The team got it done and the game was released on itch.io, but to the team's surprise, they were contacted and offered to do another round to push their prototype to the next level. And so, they offered me to work with them and I happily agreed. The prototype, Bonhomme Setter, is a survival horror game. It involves finding objects during daytime to destroy the boogeyman chasing you at night. You can push and grab objects and the player can hide but for a short time as the darkness is causing stress to the character, like the madness mechanic in Amnesia. The vision for the second stage of the game is much more ambitious. The team wants to implement procedural room generation, real-time day and night cycles, and a lot more models and audio to polish the look of the game. So far, we agreed to aim at a stylized but realistic look for the visuals. Little nightmares, atmosphere, and we happy few designs came to mind. While the procedural generation is ambitious, we cut it down in complexity by making a house using four quadrants. In each quadrant, a type of room will be loaded as a level. Each of those levels will be manually made, but using different variations each time. When the game will launch, a random room will be picked on each quadrant, giving different combinations. While this is not pure procedural generation, it will suffice for our need and abilities. Having decided on each type of room the house will have, we searched for references and started to make a list of each models we would need, textures and type of materials as well. That kind of spreadsheet is useful to keep track of the project. Also, we are using GitHub with source controlled enabled in Unreal to work as a team. That way, we can work on the project simultaneously and avoid having a single person merging everything the team has done. For this first work session, I started with a template of each quadrant. Everything is snapped to the grid for easy manipulations. From that template, I created rooms for each quadrant. Right now, I am not making new 3D models, only using the ones already available from the previous project version, because at this stage, we only want to have a functional project. With a few room variations, I added those to the master level. This is the main level that will load these rooms, but because we don't have the procedural feature implemented yet, they are simply loaded as is to get a preview of the final scene. The day and night cycle has seen its first iteration, and while there's still bugs remaining, a player character has been implemented. From there, we'll try to fix the player so we can work on gameplay features and try to have a, uh, well, not good looking, but at least functional game. So this was the first devlog on Bonhomme Setar. If you like that content, like the video and subscribe to stay tuned for more updates on the game. Peace out.